Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss a few more abstract reasoning questions and also I'll show you the thinking pattern you should follow and some tricks so you can learn how to solve these questions really, really fast. This is the second video in the abstract reasoning series. So if you haven't watched the first video, I'll put the link here. You will find some great tips in there as well. Okay, here's our first example. Which of the following completes the series? There are five answers and you have to choose the correct answer. All right, let's see what we have here. There are black dots in each box. Okay, what else can we do here? We can count and see how many dots are there. Actually, these are the questions you should ask yourself when you are going to solve these type of questions. So in the first image, top square has seven dots. The bottom square has two dots. So total 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay. In the second image, the top square has 5 dots and the bottom square has 4 dots. Total is 5 plus 4. Again, it's 9. Now we can see a possible pattern here. Let's try to verify it with the next one. In the third image, the top square has 3 dots. The bottom square has 6 dots. Again, total 6 plus 3 is 9. So yes, this is a pattern. Now let's find an answer which has a total of 9 dots. And you can see answer A has total of 9 dots. Here's a tip for you. Do not think you have found the correct answer until you check all the other answers. Keeping that in mind, let's look at the answer B. The top square has 1 dot and the bottom square has 8 dots. The total is 9. Now we are in trouble. We found a pattern, but it seems both A and B answers have fit the pattern. Now we have to find another pattern. All right, let's see again. This time I'm going to write it down how many dots are there in each square, hoping to see any kind of pattern. First, let's consider the top level squares. In the first image, there are seven dots. In the second image, five dots. In the third image, three dots it seems the number of dots in the top level is reducing by two so in the next square it should be one in the bottom level two four and six here we can see the number of dots in the bottom level is increasing by two so in the next square it should be eight now we can see the correct answer is answer b this is the approach i take when solving abstract reasoning questions keep practicing this approach and you will be much much faster all right before i go to the next example don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that's my motivation to create more and more videos okay i'm gonna give you a few seconds to try the next example and you can pause the video if you need more time and comment your answer in the comment section Okay, we can see squares and circles in different colors. Here's a tip for you. Do not look at all the shapes at once. Pick one shape and try to find a pattern. Otherwise, you will get confused very easily and it will cost you more time. Let's concentrate on the middle square. In the first image, it's a red square. In the second image, it's a white square. In the third image, a red square. And again, a white square so we can assume the next middle square should be a red square so there are three possible answers here answer a b and c now let's pick the next shape okay green circle if you look closely you will see the green circle is rotating in the clockwise direction in the first image it's at the bottom left corner in the second image it's at the top left corner then top right corner and after that bottom right corner so in the next image it should be at the bottom left corner so the answer is c congratulations if you could find the correct answer in this example we didn't want to look at the blue circle because we could find the answer only with the square and the green circle but the blue circle also has a pattern now i am not going to show it to you try it and comment your answer in the comment section. Let's go to our last example. I'll give you a few seconds to try.
Okay, let's see what we have here. There are circles with arrows. Circles are in three colors, blue, gray and black. Let's try to find a pattern. If you look at the first column, you will see a blue circle, a gray circle and then a black circle. Now look at the last row. It, it starts with the black circle, then a blue circle and the last one is a gray circle. Here we can clearly see the order of the colors are blue, gray and black. Now let's look at the first row. It starts with the blue circle. So the next one should be a gray circle and the last is a black circle. So the answer should be C, F or G. Now let's look at the pattern of the arrows. In the first column, you can see the arrow is rotating in the clockwise direction and each time arrow is rotating 45 degrees. Now let's check if that is true for the last column as well. Yes, we can see the same pattern here as well. Now we can apply the same logic for the second column. So the first arrow should be in the northeast direction. So the answer is clear and it's F. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you think this video was helpful, please subscribe and press the like button and don't forget to share the link with your friends. Let's meet in the next video.